Good morning. It is impossible to scroll through social media without stumbling on advertisements for all kinds of things. Many of the products are the real deal, but some aren't. In some cases, shoppers are getting stuff that's not even close to photos of what they ordered. In other cases, they're getting nothing at all. This what showed up by our door. Jackie Johnson was expecting a big package to arrive. I saw an ad on Facebook for these fancy uh, camping chairs. They were on sale, so she bought two of them for 72 bucks. Wow. It took more than a month for the order to show up, and when it did... What I got are these little camp stools. Jackie wasn't happy. It's like, oh my gosh, it's a big scam. <laughs> A lot of legitimate retailers sell legitimate products through social media, but the bad guys are there too. What you need to know about social media is that it is a petri dish for uh, scammers and fishers and identity thieves. Adam Levin is the founder of CyberScout. He says the company's new survey shows 32% of online shoppers are likely to purchase through new or unfamiliar retailers. And another 14% said they're likely to buy from a seller from a foreign country. Check it out, do research, make sure that you understand who you're dealing with. So instead of you know, clicking on something that takes you to something that takes you to something, go directly to the retailer. It looked like a legitimate company. Jackie's story doesn't stop with the stools small enough to be doll furniture. I tried contacting uh, Citibank and they gave me my money back and then they took it away because I did not send these back to the address that the company had sent them. She had actually tried, but a shipping company told her the cost wasn't worth it. And it would cost hundreds of dollars, and the fee would probably go up, because it's from China, that it would go up and max out my credit card. When we asked Citi to take another look... It was not a valid uh, purchase. They apologized to Jackie and agreed to credit her account. Facebook allows users to report ads. The social media giant says it reviews those reports and if the ad violates the company's advertising policies, it will be removed. So just a word of caution as we're all scrambling to do that mm -hmm. last minute shopping and maybe after the holidays when we have lots of fun gifts to buy ourselves. Just make sure you know who you're buying from. Well, I